Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching CHM Tech and welcome to the first of what is going to be a series of short videos in which we're going to go over some of the new features that were incorporated in Windows 10 after the anniversary update. In today's video, I thought I'd show you a new feature that I personally find really cool and that's the option to switch between a light and dark app theme directly in the all settings panel. Now this was something that was possible in previous builds of Windows 10 but you could only do it by making modifications in your system registry so it wasn't really convenient especially for the average user. In the anniversary update however, switching between the default light theme and the previously hidden dark theme is simply a matter of a few clicks. By the way, if you still haven't installed the Windows 10 anniversary update and you'd like to do it before it becomes available for your system through regular system updates, you can check out the tutorial that will be linked in the description below. For those of you who already have, here's how to enable the dark mode in Windows 10 Anniversary Update. So first off you want to click on the start menu and click on the settings button on the bottom left. Once the new Windows settings panel opens, you want to click on personalization. Now on the left hand side, click on color and then scroll to the very bottom of the page. So right here you should see the option to choose an app mode, by default it's set to light but if you'd like to use the dark mode, simply select dark. Have in mind that the dark mode will only affect apps that are capable of running it. For some apps, the dark mode can only be activated from inside their own settings, for example, the Edge browser. But here's some footage of apps running in dark mode, just so you can see what it actually looks like. So the dark mode is something that you might want to use in very low light environments where a bright white theme may be hard on your eyes. On the other hand, it's not really convenient when you're in a room that has a lot of light or outdoors, especially if you have a glossy screen. Unless you want to use your screen as a mirror, that is. But that would be all for this time, be sure to stick around for more videos on new features in the Windows 10 Anniversary Update. Next time, we're going to take a look at the new features that were added to the Microsoft Edge web browser, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.